forward to it, Ramesha. Thank you. You know, events like 9-11 and the Boston Marathon bombing prove just how crucial proper training really is for our first responders. Mm -hmm. Today, training for police and firefighters just in case there's an explosive emergency. Three, two, one. <laughs> News 5, Tracy Carlos with a story you'll only see right here on News 5. Preparing in case of an emergency, first responders getting hands-on experience with explosives. Seeing it now can help first responders later. The first responders are really are the front line for us. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms giving local police officers and firefighters a lesson in explosives. 13 different types of explosions today. It's different than normal crime scene processing. At the end of this week-long training, these first responders will know how to pick up the pieces. We actually take devices that have been built and um, exploded uh, in a safe manner, obviously, and we hand them basically a large bag of pieces and ask them to figure that out. Once they've reached to that point, they have a good working knowledge. They've gotten their hands dirty a little bit. First responders from dozens of departments from across the region are in Lake County for this training seeing the before and after. Training is very important, Tracy, as today is the 18th anniversary of 9-11. It's just important for all the agencies who would work these kind of investigations to be able to train together, to learn about the current technology, the current investigative techniques, so we can build a better investigation and ultimately catch folks who do these kind of heinous crimes. Crimes that take expertise to solve. There was such a demand for this class, and it filled up so quickly that the ATF is now considering adding more. In Painesville, Tracy Carlos, News 5.